In our previous video, we looked at what a Lorenz curve was and how a Lorenz curve tells us about equitable distribution of income. Now let's look at how we can create Lorenz curves in Excel. So here we have information for Canada and for the US in terms of income distribution by quintile. So we can look at the lowest 20% up to the highest 20% of the population and what percentage of the income they have. So let's open Excel here and we are going to do some graphing. Let's see if I can move this over a bit for us here so that we can see them both simultaneously. All right. So if you want to graph a Lorenz curve, we want to put information about our population and our income. And we are going to do, let's do our Canadian income first, and then we'll add in the US one. We also want to do a comparison to perfect equality and perfect inequality. So let's just spread these out a little bit here. Now we're going to show our population and we'll go from a population with 0% of the population and we'll do it in 20% increments just to make life easy. And 100%, oops, 100%. Okay, so perfect equality, everyone that makes exact same amount of money. So in that case, we will have 20% of the population has 20% of the income, 40% of the population has 40% of the income, 60% of the population has 60% of the income, and 80% of the population has 80% of the income. And 100% has 100%. Now for perfect inequality, remember this is where one person has all the money. So we are going to do 0%, 0%, 0%, 0, 0%, 0%. Now, if we put in 100% here, I'll just show you what this graph looks like. So insert, and what we are doing is a scatter plot and we'll have it connect the dots for us. Notice that if I put 100% in that last row, that our graph has this line going from 80% to 100%. And we don't want that, we wanna reflect the, the fact that 99% of the population still has 0% of the income. So for graphing purposes, we are instead of putting 100% here, we'll put 0% here as well. If we do that, then when we insert our scatter plot, so again, insert, and I'm actually just gonna move this over so you can see behind my head, go insert, and then the dot one here, and then you can choose the one that adds the lines. You can do straight, you can do curved, it's up to you. But notice here we have our 45 degree line, and we have our horizontal line to show our different extremes. All right, I'm not gonna make it yet because I wanna add in that Canadian income. So what we need to do the Canadian income is we need to add that data that we have from the previous video. So here 0% of the population has 0% of the income. 20% of the population has 7.2% of the income. 40% of the population has that 7.2% plus 13.1%. And then 60% is going to have the 7.2 plus 13.1, which is the 20.3 plus 17.7. Okay, and then the 80% of the population is going to have 7.2 plus 13.1 plus 17.7, plus 23.5, or we can just take our 60% at 38% and add the 23.5%, okay? 
Okay. And then when you add up everybody, they have all of the money. So you should end up with 100%. We can also double check this by taking our 80% here and adding that last number, which is 38. Oops. All our numbers disappear here. Adding in our last number of 38.5%. Okay, so we're at 100% there. All right, so we can take this information and we are going to, again, insert scatter plot. Let me just move this down here a bit. Insert and then scatter plot. And then we can add the curve lines. All right, so we're gonna need to clean this up a little bit. So our chart title is we're going to make this a Lorenz curve. Okay, uh, Lorenz curve, oh. and we need to label our axes. So you can click here on this plus and add chart elements, and we need to add some titles. So we're going to add one to the horizontal and one to the vertical. On the horizontal, we have the population. The size of the population is predicting the amount of income. So we're gonna change this axis title here to income. And it is cumulative income, or percentage of income. The idea here is that when we look at 60% of the population, how much total income do they have? So you can just write income and population is fine or cumulative income. Okay. Now, when we do a Lorenz curve, it goes from zero to 100%, so we can actually get rid of that um, 120%. So all I did was right click here and format the axes. So we click on the axes and we format it. And all we're gonna do is change the maximum to zero. We can do the same thing over here, right click, format axes and make it go to 1.0 as well. So now we can see our Lorenz curve with our two extremes, perfect equality and perfect inequality, and our Canadian income. So let's add in, let's add in the US, and we could just insert it here in the middle. If you do that, it'll just auto add it to your graph. So US income. And we know that uh, when there's 0% of the population, they have 0% of the income. We can go back to our table here. Let's see. And 20% of the population has 3.1% of the income. 40% is that 3.1 plus 8.2%. Then we add up 3.1 plus 8.2 plus 14.3 or 11. 0.3 plus 14.3 to get what 60% of the population has. And we add up 3.1 plus 8.2 plus 14.3 plus 23.2. So you add up the four of them to get 80% of the population. And then if we add that last 51.2%, we should get to 100% or pretty close depending on some rounding error. Uh, and, but you should label that as 100%. All right. Oh, didn't add it to our graph. Okay, so to make sure that it gets added to the graph, we want to, it should auto appear there, but if it doesn't for you, it didn't for me, we can simply change the source to make sure it includes that US income as well. So if I right click, I can select data. We have our Canadian income, perfect equality, perfect inequality. All we're doing is adding one more. Here we are adding US income, okay? And our X values here. Oops, that's not what I want. The X values are what we already have, which is that population. And then our new numbers here are Y. 
and if you double click it gets angry so we want to do it like that all right so now we can see we hit OK that it's added in and we can see US and we can see Canada so all I did was right click select data and add in that additional column so if you decide to add in columns to the right as well you would do that same thing sometimes when you put it in the middle of your table because it's already highlighted the range of data it'll just add it in but it didn't do that here so here we can look at the population and what percentage they have of income we have our two extremes inequality and equality and we can see here that Canada is closer to equality and the US is closer to inequality in the assignment you're going to do newer data and do a comparison has Canada moved closer to equality or inequality what about the US so you can use the same method to plot the newer data and do a comparison